So with that in mind, um, you know, expect to spend two to three hours per module. That's, you know, things that you should read beforehand um, and watch beforehand and then actually watching the videos, you know, the lecture videos and or any other video content um, that I provide. We, we, you know, because this is cinema studies class, we'll watch more documentaries than probably in other classes or, you know, stuff like that. So do sort of think, um, uh, about that. The quizzes, you know, uh, should not take you more than 20 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. Um, and writing a, a weekly response for each module should take you no more than five to 10 minutes. Uh, those are pretty, pretty easy. So, you know, again, two to three hours roughly per class. So you're looking at six hours or so um, a week, except for when you get to the end, when you have a final project due. But guess what? I, I give you like the last week and a half with no class content, nothing to do um, where you can prepare your final project, you know? So like I give you some time at the end to work through that. So do note that. Zilla, you feeling this vibe? I'm sure y'all are in the same state. <laughs> uh, anyways. Um, yeah. Uh, so anyways, the grades for this class, 40% are quizzes that are on Canvas. Make sure you just do all the quizzes. I'll talk more about that in a second. 20% uh, of your grade is your module responses. Again, like those are things that students don't do, but it's like those, those points add up fast or go away fast. So just do them. It's the easiest thing in the world. And the last 40% of your grade is a final project where you can choose between a presentation of a critical, and let me stress critical remix artist, like someone who's critiquing society through art, um, or um, <clears throat> you can do a synthesis paper where you sort of pick a topic from the class and you talk about that topic in your own world of you know existence and, and meaning you know like you can be a fan of Star Wars and so you talk about copyright law or trademark law in Star Wars or something like that in a paper um, and then you have an option for a remix project where you can do your own critical art so you can borrow from society you know uh, from the mass media you know, whatever, um, you know, images, moving content, whatever, to critique, critique those brands or those artists or whatever. So you have a couple choices. With that in mind, I don't give A pluses, um, you know. <laughs> I just, they don't exist on a 4.0 scale. I also don't give 100s. I mean, y'all could get 100s on your quizzes and module responses, but I don't think I've ever given a 100 perfect out on a final project but I mean the deal is y'all y'all don't get complacent if y'all be getting all the A pluses and the hundreds you know you can always do a little bit better so that's why I keep us at a 99 baby um, anyways which is a great grade I also do uh, you can see the note in the syllabus I also do um, uh, round up so you know when we get to the end of the term you know if you have an 89.4 unfortunately that stays an 89 but if you got an 89.45 that turns you up to an 89.5 and that turns you up to a 90 which turns you up to uh, an a minus so the little points add up but i do round up so don't bug me for that in week 10 <laughs> okay um with that in mind too if you are struggling in this class yo Yo, do not wait to week nine and ask me, how could you do better in the class? That's a week four or five question. You know, you know what I mean? So don't, you know, really don't get, let yourself get behind here and really don't wait till the end to like, try to like figure it out, like figure it out as you're going, hit me up, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get you, we'll get you together here. Um, obviously everything's on canvas. I do a little canvas tour video that will take you through and show you what a typical module will look like where you can find stuff, how things are laid out, etc. for you. So, um, with that in mind, if you notice any links are dead for readings or for videos or anything, please let me know, you know, the way that the internet works, things, are online and then offline. Now, the way YouTube works, the YouTube copyright police roll thick, you know, and one day something's on the, uh, on YouTube for y'all to watch and then it's gone the next day. So, um, you know, I just want to kind of be mindful of that. If you can hit me up, if you see anything's missing. Um, all right, yo, no late assignments. It's, nah, I ain't doing it, you know. Everything, every module response and every quiz is due on Sunday night by 11.59. After that, you know, you, you turn back into a pumpkin, uh, you know, your, your, your dress turns back into rags, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? At midnight, you know, uh, you, you know, you turn into a gremlin or whatever. You know, stay mogwai, get your shit in before midnight on Sunday. Has it got a name, Dad? 
Yeah, Mogwai. What? Mogwai. I don't know, some Chinese word. I just call him Gizmo. That's just what I suggest. So please, no late assignments. I, you know, you, you got to keep up on shit and you got to like, you know, be mindful of that stuff. I just, I just don't have time to reset things and, and do all this stuff. Just be mindful of that. This class ain't hard. I'm going to be straight up. It ain't that, it ain't that hard. All right. Quizzes. Let's just go through this, right? So quizzes are 40% of your grade. There are, I believe, 17 or 18 modules. Um... I think 18, and not all of them have quizzes. Most of them do, so there's probably 15 quizzes. I drop the five lowest scores. So as you're taking quizzes, they drop, you know, they start to drop, so they'll automatically drop. So your five lowest scores drop. The other thing about quizzes, which is super tight, is that they're open book, open note, open internet, whatever. So do your thing, you know what I'm saying? So take good notes from the lecture videos, think about stuff, you know, um, y you'll be good, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, the other thing with these is don't take them on your phone. Canvas hates Safari. It it's, doesn't like Safari. So um, Canvas will only really work well with Chrome um, or Firefox. So definitely do them on a computer. Now listen, I think this is a really important thing. Um, and these are also multiple choice. There's like 10 to 20 multiple choice or true false questions. Um, the thing about this is a lot of students will ask me, I'm not doing very good on the quizzes. What could I do better? So there's a few things. Uh, each module will have, um, you know, uh, an overview and it will tell you things to look out for for the quiz. So before you watch lecture videos, like be mindful of those bullet points. You know what I'm saying? Um, take good notes, you know. Do not rely on the slides. Like I said, though, if you don't watch the videos and you try to take the quizzes and stuff with the slides, you may have some success, but you will not be successful. You know, you know what I mean? You gotta suffer through me talking on three wheelers with my puppies um, or whatever, with chickens on a toilet in a field, whatever it is. Um, so anyways, um, but when students ask me, what could I do, what could I, you know, I'm not doing good quizzes, what could I do better? I think a few things. First of all, don't wait until Sunday at 11.50 to do everything. My advice would be this. I hated school growing up. You know what I mean? I hated, I hated homework, all that stuff, right? So what I did is every day I did my homework on the bus ride home. So I got home, I could play all night long. So, so what y'all should do is get your stuff done before like Thursday night or something like that. So you can enjoy your whole weekend, everything's done, your class is completed, your work is done, you're good to go, you know what I mean? But if you're not doing good on stuff, you know, it's, think about the time when you're taking the quizzes, it's, you know, Sunday at 11 o'clock at night in the middle of your frat house, probably not the best choice, you know? Um, think about environment, time of day, maybe you need to do the quizzes after you do some yoga, or you go for a run, or you have a whiskey, or whatever it is. It could be, you know, really environment, maybe go to the library, Go, go somewhere quiet, go outside, I don't, I don't know, you know what I mean? So think about, you know, those sort of things. So take good notes, look at the things to do, uh, things to know for the quizzes, and you should, you should be good to go. Um, okay, then you have module responses. Again, these are worth about a point plus, you know, a little more than a point on your final grade. So they're very easy. They're like under one page, a half page is good. Every week in every class, essentially, there's the same three questions. You can answer one of them, two of them, all three of them. Does not matter. I just want you thinking about stuff and also putting it in your own world, maybe thinking about your career, your consumption habits, etc. So a, sort of a reflection, you know, a personal reflection on the course content, okay? These, again, are due Sunday by 11.59. These don't need to be long. They're submitted on Canvas just like... You got this. You know what I mean? So that's 60% of your grade. And then you are going to um, have due on the um, rate before finals week as a final project. And you're going to choose. Now, mind you, take a choice here between a paper, a synthesis paper, a presentation on a critical remix artist, or an actual critical remix piece of art that you make okay and we will see tons of critical remix art throughout the term it's in every module overview i give an example um etc so you know whatever and there's tons of examples you know um that i give in the assignment description so actually if you click on any of the links here 
um, where it says like critical remix artist presentation and click on the link will take you to the canvas description a full description rubric everything is there again okay so what this is is for each of these projects you have a, around midterm time a one to two paragraph you know pitch or proposal do this is really great because it gets you thinking about this weeks before it's due whereas probably most of you would think about it two days before it's due. Now, some of you may excel in that, right? Or some of you may actually shit your pants in that situation. So I'm trying to avoid that. Now, this is also what could happen. If you don't do a proposal and get feedback, you may actually do something wrong. I've had a ton of students uh, pitch Kanye West as a critical remix artist. Now, Kanye West remixes music. There's lots of people that remix music, but it doesn't mean that he's remixing it to comment on it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a, the gist of it. Like you can't just pick someone who remixes and doesn't say anything, right? They're just making entertainment. You know, they're, they got to be making art and within the confines and context of this class. So you're going to do a five to seven minute um, presentation on a critical remix artist. I get break that all down, like how to do that. Um, you do a fair use analysis, whatever it is. You look at some of their work. You may look at one of their pieces. You may look at a series of works that they did. I give you tons of different artists that you can uh, pick from and then go from there. OK, like y'all can find stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's that. But I, the proposals are great um, because it allows me to make sure that you're on track. And so I'm trying to set you all up for, for success and not doing last minute Larry shit. Um, a critical remix project. Same thing. This will be due uh, at the end of week 10. And basically what this is, is you're going to do your own parody art. Um, you know, it could be a video sort of mashup, it could be a song, it could be uh, an illustration. Uh, if you do something 3D or mixed media, you can like give me a picture of it or something like that or, you know, what, whatever it is. And this is, in this instance, you're, you are borrowing from society, culture, you know, um, to, or politics, or whatever, to critique a politician, to critique a celebrity, to critique a, a brand or whatever. Your work has to be critical, just like the remix artist has to be an artist who does critical remix work. You have to be critical yourselves. I, um, again, the same deal here is that, um, is that these will be due, you know, right before finals week. The last thing you can do, yo, listen, Maybe you don't want to present. Um, and again, the presentations, I forgot to mention this, presentations will be, you know, you'll use Panopto. Um, basically, I just need to see your slides and hear your voice or see your face. So you can use Panopto. You could do a Zoom meeting and record it where you share your screen, whatever it is. All that stuff is in the assignment description. If you want to write a paper, um, you can write a synthesis paper. Again, this is sort of not a reflection on the whole class. Um, you will pick like a topic maybe that you liked in the class. You know, maybe it's like, you know, uh, art or maybe it's like medicine patents or something like that. And, you know, you write a paper and a, the paper will be largely citing and using sources from the class, but then you should like deviate beyond that. Um, this is, you know, pretty easy assignment, five to seven page paper with a bibliography um, where you can you know, speak in the first person, say, I learned this, I, you know, this or that. Okay. Um, class materials, everything's online. All the books, uh, I give you links to download. They're all Creative Commons licensed books. All the, you know, you'll find in each module, there's a things to do before class. That's where I'll post uh, other readings and other materials. You don't have to buy a book. There's no book for this class. Um, although, although the uh, book publishers keep trying to get me to make a textbook uh, for this class, you know what I mean? Um, and, uh, you know, I ain't doing it. I ain't partaking in that. Okay. 